Alright, hello again. I'm back, and I have everything pre-prepared this time, so instead of just making it, I can tell you how everything works in a nice, nice, good, good explanation, easy, you know, easy peasy. You can figure out how things work again by hovering over them and pressing R, but right now we're going to figure out, well not figure out, rather, I'm going to explain to you how uh, to convert lava into energy. And also how to um, use all that worthless junk you got laying around from, you know, your cores and shit, all that cobblestone you got stacked up, and turn it into something useful. Okay, so first, lava to energy. I already have everything pre-prepared right here. Um, you know, I'll explain to you what it all is on the way. Right now I have four combustion engines, engines surrounding a pump. Okay, and below this cobblestone right here is, you know, a, a little lava pit, and the pump is going down into the lava pit, and it's going to pump the lava out through here, through the cobblestone. These are waterproof cobblestone tel or bleh, waterproof cobblestone pipes, and I have those right here. Cobblestone, cobblestone waterproof pipes. Sorry, make those by pipe waterproof and a cobblestone transport pipe. Anyway, it brings the lava down into here, into the tanks. When you turn this on, the combustion engine pumps it out. You have to have a waterproof wooden pipe right here next to the tanks. It pumps the lava out and into the geothermal generator. Okay, right now, it's only pumping out of this one tank because I only have the wooden pipe connected to one tank. If I were to move the wooden pipe, you know, to all three tanks and turn this on, you know, you get the picture. Uh, it pumps out all three tanks and pumps it into the geothermal generator, which generates energy for, you know, machines and stuff. Okay, so when I turn it on, uh, the pipe below, or the pump, I should say, sorry, the pump starts pumping out the lava from the, uh, you know, below it, and it brings it up through the water waterproof cobblestone pipes and into the tanks, like I said. Um... We'll get back to that later. It brings it through the wooden pipe over here, to the cobblestone waterproof pipe, waterproof pipe, sorry, and into the geothermal generator. And here's how you make a geothermal generator. Hover over it, press R, and generator, you know, that stuff. So on and so forth. I probably already pumped out a bunch into here already, because, yeah, probably already. So, but, you know, when you turn this on, it pumps the lava out of the tanks. Right now, this one has none. Connect the wooden pipe to the other tanks if you want to pump the other lava out of it. Okay, so over here, this is basically going to be turning all that extra material that, you know, you just let sit there and don't really do anything with into something very useful, um, which is called UU Matter. Right here, UU Matter creates random items throughout the game, you know, using a combination of putting them down on the crafting table and stuff. You know, I don't know why I did that. Uh, you know, you put one down in the middle right here, and it gives you stone. Anyway, so get to that later. Uh, ooh, black spike. So right now, we're going to be recycling stuff, which creates scrap, and from that scrap, you can speed up the uh, mass fabrication process that makes you you matter. So you could speed up this process, so you can see it's going slowly, because even with an MFSU transferring all its power into this, because this right here is being powered by the HP solar, solar panel, sorry, and the MFSU is powering this, which is called a mass fabricator. To make a mass fabricator, cap fabricator, sorry, I am uh, very stuttery today. All that, right there, all that good stuff. Yes siree, pain in the butt to make. Okay, but UU matter can be useful. It also makes iridium ore, which I will teach you how to make. Since if you were to type in iridium ore to this search box, it doesn't show you how to make that. It only shows you how. Excuse me. It only shows you how to make the iridium plate, which is used for to make quantum armor. Okay, so this is called a recycler. It basically recycles anything into scrap right here. Anything you don't need or want. So we're going to be using cobblestone. It's powered by, I powered by a bat box, and I power that bat box by a little voltage solar array. Um, if you can find, you know, something more useful to make it go faster or whatever you gotta do, I mean, I'm sure you can, but, uh, MFSUs blow it up, and I haven't tried an MFE, but I'm sure, I, I don't know, that might blow it up too. Anyway, so, right here we have another, uh, combustion engine. We have 
wooden chest with a bunch of shitload of cobblestone, and we have a wooden pipe. I use, or you should use, anybody should use wooden pipes or advanced wooden pipe, wooden pipes to uh, take stuff out of chests, tanks, uh, carts, etc., and a combustion engine or some sort of engine to take it out. Because when this starts going, it flows it through here, through the blah blah blah, through the cobblestone uh, pipe. These are cobblestone pipes, not the waterproof ones, obviously. And you have to put the pipe on top of here because this. Oh my god, what the hell? Hold on, I'll be right back. Goodness, having a bunch of lag spikes for some reason. Yikes. Okay, so the top of this is basically the recycler part, because if you were to put it in the front right here, it would go into this square right here, and you don't want it in the square, you want this square. So you gotta run the, run the pipes through the top. Okay, um, so when I turn it on, right here, Look what it'll start to do. Those are, those are still running. Yeah, I'm probably out of lava right there. Probably pumped it all out already. But anyway, yeah, it starts to pump out cobblestone and runs it through here, puts it in the top, and you have a 1 12th chance to get scrap from cobblestone or any other thing you use. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. 1 12th, and so like every 12 cobblestone, you get one or so on and so forth. Uh, it's random. Pulls it in there, recycles it. Derp, 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 derp. And let's see. Boom. Starts to recycle it. It made one scrap, yes. Okay, so when you get scrap from that, you get scrap from that, okay? You come over to this mass fabricator. Yes, it's being powered by the MFSU right now, but if you want to speed it up, you can put a bunch of scrap in there and you can look the amplifier, blah 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 blah. Amplifies it by a lot, and you get a bunch of UU matter from that. See it's going a lot faster now. Take you, you, you out. Okay, now we're gonna turn this freaking rain off and turn the sunlight on. Sunlight, I need you. Oh, okay. So, now from you, you matter, you can make all kinds of nifty things. You know, you can make, uh, you gotta, I, I don't know what you can make. You can make gold or, or, for instance, random. You know, very random. You just gotta play around with it and see what you can make. Uh, redstone. Um,. What about all of it? You can make diamond from it. All stacked together, you can make diamond. That is cool. That is definitely a nifty trick. Okay, but here's what we want. We want iridium ore, which is done like this. You get it stacked in an eye. Makes eye iridium ore. Get it? Yeah, so I made one. Okay, so from iridium, uh, iridium, sorry, iridium ore, you can make uh, ir iridium plates, which make quantum armor. So you have a diamond, four iridium ores on the side, four advanced alloys, and you make one plate. And from that, you can make quantum armor. So you see, Jesus, you see the chest plate right here, or body armor, or whatever, quantum suit. You have a nano suit, uh, body armor. You need four iridium plates, Jesus, and then advanced alloys, and there you go. So um. Going real quick over it, just in case you guys forgot anything. This mass fabricator, powered by MFSU solar panel of some sort. Uh, this right here, geothermal generator. It creates energy. Combustion engine, which with a wooden pipe pumps out uh, fluid, or this is a waterproof wooden pipe, pumps out fluid out of tanks or, you know, chests and stuff. Waterproof cobblestone pipe is what's used to transfer the lava over into the tanks. And then you have a pump. This is called a pump right here, powered by combustion engines. And then, you know, the same for over here into the recycler. Top of the recycler, powered by a bat box and a solar array. Combustion engine and a wooden pipe pumps it out. You can see. Okay, so I hope I hope this was uh, very helpful in you know creating those random items out of random items. <laughs> Scrap, you you matter everything else. Alright, thanks for watching.